let me set up a scenario for you that maybe you're an engineer and your boss says to you, you know, we, we, this is our starting point, right? And you did a project a while ago, and I, I want you to take one of the models. It would be kind of interesting to see what happens. If you take one of the models from that other project and somehow kind of embedded it into this part and merged the two together and just see what you can come up with. Again, as in my design engineer days, those kind of things just, you, you didn't really want to tackle those to begin with. It wasn't simple to do. It wasn't straightforward. But because you've got tools in space claim that lend itself so well to making these kind of changes on the fly, it's really not a big deal whatsoever uh, to tackle these kind of things. I, again, I'm using that move tool to just put this in place where I want it to go. You know, someone might look at you and say, hey, that's good enough. That's, that's a great looking picture. We can send that out to somebody. But, I mean, why stop there? If, if you have ideas, if people want to figure out how things are going to look and you want to actually come up with a real part that you could use for testing, you could do that. Now, keep in mind, I took two pretty much random files and threw them into, you know, the same environment. I'm going to click on an edge for a moment because I want you to see my thickness of one of these is about two and a half, two point six five. Okay, if I click on an edge of a second body, you're going to see that the edge is three point two. So I've got this thickness mismatch. Well, obviously that's a problem. How do you account for that? Well, typically, you would just kind of start over and not think about merging these two bodies together. Space claims very different. We don't really care how you get to a point necessarily. The point is you can get somewhere, you can get really get to anywhere you want just by reusing data in the system. And we do it with common Windows shortcuts like copying and pasting. So that's what I've done right here. I take a, the shell of this, maybe the outside surfaces, and use those to recreate the model and give it the known thickness that I have of the other model, 2.65. And look what happens. Those two bodies instantly merge together and I've got a brand new solid. Now that's not the solid that I want to work with. Obviously there's some modifications I'm going to need to make. Well, that's easy to do. Now you've seen how I create things. Really easy to take that pull tool and create. And we have a tool that does the exact opposite. It, it will defeature and simplify models and it's called fill. Very easy to, to do. Um, also, if you remember just a second ago, I took the two models, moved them close to each other and then encroached on that circle. That's not a problem. If I moved something too far, I can always fill in that edge and complete the circle. It's that simple to do. And maybe get rid of some rounds in here and actually flush this thing out to get it uh, the way that I want. You know, reusing data is so important uh, in not having to reconstruct sketches to get exactly what you want. I'm taking a face and just throwing it somewhere in the mix. And the whole sole, the sole purpose of that is to create some kind of a reference area by which I could chop up a face. I'm, I'm taking a couple of faces and, and cutting them, making a division, and that reference face did it all for me, all with the pull tool. It's all I had to, it's all I had to do. That reference face sitting there, I could delete that now without repercussion. This is something that just speeds you up big time in this software. You don't have to worry about messing up relationships in a model. Again, I keep going back to the point that this is just geometry to us, and we let you edit it with ease, any, any which way you, you want to. So you can imagine if someone is sitting over your shoulder and saying, do this, do that, change that model, it's really not a big deal to, to do these kind of things in space claim and have to explain to somebody otherwise if you're using a, you know, a detailed feature-based CAD system that, well, you can't really move that hole because, well, the whole model will blow up and that just doesn't make sense and that's a lot of, it's really unnecessary. So we do away with that in space claim. Faces I want to get rid of, those, uh, those extensions, I fill those in, and I'm done. Maybe to polish this off, and I'll show a bit of new functionality here. As design engineers, we think in uh, the ideal, and we don't always put things in correctly. In other words, things aren't always machinable or manufacturable the way that we think they are. Well, obviously, these corners would need to have rounds on them, so I'll go ahead and and put a round in of maybe five millimeters and do the exact same thing on the other side. I don't have to type in five. I could always reference that other round. But the order of those rounds isn't quite ideal. That's not the way I want it. Well, something that we, and 
I'll just point out exactly what I mean, the sharp corner up there. That's really not how, uh, how something would be manufactured and that would need to be changed. Something we let you do is reorder rounds with ease now just by clicking on them and saying sweep it around the corner. It's such a great tool for simplifying a model and actually getting it in its proper state. You don't have to jump through hoops uh, to get it the way you want. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. You know, I've done some free form changes, um, but I could always put precision into the model anytime, anywhere that I want and type in specific values. So it's very possible and, and people, you know, use it for, use the software for this all the time, putting in precision anywhere they want in the model. So there you have it. It's very easy to just take two concepts in a matter of minutes if someone's suggesting changes. You can do it in real time. Do it uh, with someone looking over your shoulder. Even if someone says, you know, as a design engineer, we take things literally, and I actually took these two models and put them together completely. If someone says to you, you know, I didn't mean to exactly merge them together. In fact, this back side over here where those holes are and that end, that's really not needed. Can you do away with that? Yeah, it's simple to do. I chop away a model as I want to. Think of this as Play-Doh or clay on the screen. If you want to chop things up, you use our our combination tool it merges it also cuts and you can get a model looking exactly the way you want now this is something that could be manufacturable you send it out for costing analysis you name it and you've done it in just a couple of minutes in the context of people brainstorming and thinking out loud how to how to do things